guys, it's Kelsey here and I'm back today with a totally different video. Um, so normally I do a lot of car videos but today I'm doing one on Apple products which have been refurbished by Apple. So um, the reason that I've brought this product is because I wanted an iPad Pro and I knew that I wanted the third generation. Um, and Apple don't, sh don't sell that brand new at the moment because they're about to release the fourth generation, but it's not actually released yet, so you can't even get it. Um, but I wanted this iPad now, as soon as we are going into quarantine due to these crazy life circumstances at the moment. Um, I have never brought an Apple refurbished product before. Um, I didn't actually know that you could get them. I um, heard people talk about it, but I thought that it was a staff only thing. But you can actually get it straight from the website. So if you go to Apple, make sure you go .com or UK, depending on where you are in the country or world, you know. I'm in the same world. Basically, you just scroll down to the bottom of their website and it just says, like, refurbished products. I will show you how to do that if I'm not, if you're not already seeing it on the screen right now. Edit it on so you can see. Um, they sell all sorts of refurbished things, but obviously they sell stuff that they're no longer selling brand new because obviously the third generation uh, isn't being sold there brand new anymore. Um, but you can get refurbished ones. There are loads of different types of models, colours and everything. As long as you're not too fussy, you know, check it out, see what's going and you'll save yourself a lot of money. But yeah, I am um, doing this video today. I've obviously not opened them yet. I've been dying to open them all morning, but I'm holding off. I want to see how good a refurbished product is and whether it's like brand new or whether it is like buying a secondhand item. Um, so I've got two items here. I have um, the iPad in this box, obviously, and then I have an Apple Pencil in here. Um, the Apple Pencil is brand new. They didn't have any uh, refurbished Apple Pencils, which would make sense. So that's brand new, but the iPad is refurbished. So I'm going to change my camera angle so you can see everything. I will open the box from scratch so we know what it looks like, whether it's going to be a new box, is it going to be an old box? I mean, I don't know, you'll soon find out. And then so if you're thinking about buying a refurbished product, hopefully this video is going to help you out. Um, but yeah, I don't even know because I've not even opened them yet, so we'll soon find out. I hope you enjoy the video and thanks for joining me. Right, okay, so I'm going to try and record you from behind me, so hopefully I don't miss anything in the shot. Leave the Apple Pencil, because the Apple Pencil is new, it's kind of irrelevant. Um, but yeah, let's open this up. I really do like this packaging, it's really um, neat and smart, just what you would expect from Apple. Oh, that's good. I like that. That looks very safe. Ooh, okay. So it's actually in like a proper sealed wrapper, look, like it's like it's literally almost brand new. It's got a tab here. Um, I think that was supposed to say stuff and maybe I was supposed to rip it off, but um, maybe it's just not as strong. No, it's not going to go, that's alright. It literally looks brand new. So far guys, it looks like a brand new product. Um, let's now, let's get in here. This is so much fun. I, I honestly feel like I'm opening a brand new product. I'm so I'm so excited for this. Okay, it's one of the boxes we have to try and get it to fall out. There we go. Bro, okay. So here's the iPad. Awesome. Again, like a brand new packet in here, which is really nice. Let's see what's in the box. Brand new plug. This is different. This is a different kind of plug than I normally see from Apple, but again, I haven't bought a brand new product from Apple in a little while, so. Does it pop out? Oh, okay. Right, guys. This is new to me. Um, I don't know about you guys. And it's got a different charger as well. That smart new one that everybody's got. Okay, fine. Right, so we have brand new chargers, brand new plug. It comes in a brand new box. 
sealed brand new. Yeah, actually, I'm going to leave that in front of me. Let's have a look at the iPad now. Oh, so satisfying. This is so satisfying. Wow. God. What a treat. Oh. Okay. It definitely looks brand new. I cannot believe this is refurbished, actually. I don't want to get the finger marks on it, it's so clean. There is no marks or scratches on this at all. It's absolutely pristine, literally. Wow, okay. I'm just gonna do some close-ups of this iPad so you guys can see how absolutely brand new it's looking. So bear with me, let me change the camera. Okay, so as you can see from what I've just shown you, this iPad literally looks brand new. It definitely doesn't look refurbished or secondhand. Everything looks brand new. Um, I can't see any marks of it, any imperfections. The glass is perfect, the back is perfect. No problems at all. So I'm just going to turn it on now. See if it's got some charge. It does. It does have charge. Amazing. Let's go. <laughs> this isn't the right phone, bear with me. I won't get my other phone. Okay, so it's telling me now if I bring my phone near it, it will automatically set it up and it will. Oh my god. Can you see this, guys? I hope you can see that. So that basically says set up a new iPad, unlock to continue. Wow, okay, let's go. I've never done this before, this is so new to me. Waiting for iPhone, hold your new iPad up to the camera. Um, wow, okay. It just gave me a camera on my screen, I put it over this here. And it, um, it's now finished on the iPad. Okay, it's just so it's going to take a few minutes. Oh, it's gone through for that. Okay, continue. Let's um, not set up face ID right now. I don't think I'll need it for the iPad. Okay, and there we go guys, so that's the iPad fully set up, it took me just a few moments, a couple of minutes, there's obviously nothing on here, I chose not to add all my apps from my other devices because obviously this is my iPad, I'm not going to be using it for Facebook or anything, I want to use it to draw and stuff, um, and yeah, that's I think that's everything I have to sh tell you. I mean, it literally looks just like a new iPad. It's set up just like um, a normal Apple product would. I've had no problems, no interruptions. Um, it's literally just like a brand new product. So, um, that's um, everything that I think I have to tell you. I've gone through the opening of the box, I've showed you the product, you can see the quality of it. And I would definitely recommend a refurbished product. I was considering buying a second hand one. 
um, from Facebook Marketplace or eBay. Um, but there is no way that they will come this perfect. Um, so it's not even that much more money either because I was thinking if I got it from Apple it's going to be so expensive but it really wasn't actually. It was pretty much the same price if not cheaper than what people were selling them for second hand online and obviously you don't get this finished product like this, you know, like a refurbished product. Obviously it's come in a new box brand new chargers and cables, when you buy it second hand from ebay or something sometimes they don't have the chargers or they come and they're really dirty but e um, ebay but apple are you know selling their refurbished products with brand new wires, brand new plugs and they are cleaning them up, probably replacing the screens um, I read online also that they replace the batteries so you get a brand new battery with it um, and I couldn't even, I could not recommend it enough um, I never really buy my Apple products brand new because I just can't afford it. I always try and look second hand, but from now on I will definitely be going straight to the refurbished section of Apple. Um, and yeah, I hope this video has been super helpful to you all and thank you for staying with me and watching it. If you have any questions, please comment below and I will get back to you all. Just bear with me. Um, sometimes it may take me a while, but I will reply. And if there's any other videos that you'd like me to make as well, that would be lovely. Please comment below. I really love making videos. So any suggestions would be amazing. Have a lovely rest of your day. Take care.